I'm Morgan from Pack Hacker, and in this video, we're taking a look at the Dispatch Day Pack, which I've been testing for four weeks. If you find this video helpful, hit subscribe so that we can continue making content that helps you travel smarter. Let's jump in. So the exterior of this bag is made from a 420D nylon polyester dot grid fabric, which gives its unique aesthetic, the polka dots. It's a pretty nice design. Welcome change from an all black aesthetic. It's very minimal. It's not too bold, nor is it too flamboyant. And the material is slightly noisy, um, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. It definitely helps protect the contents inside as well as provide a weatherproof coating as well to ensure that everything inside stays nice and dry. On the inside, the material is made from a 410D nylon pack cloth, which isn't the softest, but it is durable. So there's no concern there about everyday wear and tear. And on the sides, there are built-in G-hook compression straps that help cinch down the bag and compress it to its smallest form factor when not fully loaded out. These G-hooks are super easy and very smooth, especially uh, using one-handed. On the bottom, there are built-in carry straps. These are not removable, unfortunately, and they do cinch down all the way. These were super helpful when carrying like a jacket, a yoga mat, tripod, whatever you can just kind of fit in between here. But something to keep in mind though is because these sit on the very bottom of the backpack, they kind of have a tendency to make sure that the backpack doesn't stand all the way up, but leans forward. So just something to keep in mind. There is one grab handle here at the top and it's not padded, it's just nylon webbing. So it's not the most comfortable, but it will do in a pinch. There are two backpack straps, which both are removable completely from the bottom and from the top right here. The backpack straps are not the most comfortable. They don't have a, these, a good amount of padding. However, they are wide, which definitely helps distribute the weight so that it's not digging into your shoulders when fully loaded out. The sternum strap is not removable, but it is adjustable with a very smooth adjuster right here and is made of like military grade webbing so it's very sturdy and the duraplex plastic buckle then there's a luggage pass through which is also fully removable but i've also liked using this as like a secondary grab handle in the event i need to pick the bag up and then something to keep in mind is the foam sheet on the back is very structured and very rigid so it is going to maintain its shape very well. It does a really good job of protecting the contents inside, but because there's no ventilation system on the back, it's very easy to start overheating really quickly. So this is what it looks like on. Like I said, the shoulder straps don't have the most comfortable padding, but because of their wide nature, they're fairly comfortable. And as you can see, the dotted grid fabric provides a very unique aesthetic, which is very minimal, it's not bad. And I can't necessarily recommend this as a dedicated travel backpack just because of the weight after a while starts to kind of get a little bit uncomfortable, but it can definitely do as a day pack or as like a pseudo impromptu travel pack. So starting with the front compartment, right here is a vertical zipper. And it has a nice amount of organization inside. However, it doesn't open up very wide. So it comes all the way down and extends a decent amount. However, the zipper ends right here. So just something to keep in mind. Inside, I just have wallet and AirPods. Also something to keep in mind is that sometimes things can get a little caught especially in this interior mesh pocket that has a zipper. This zipper comes all the way down, so it's not the easiest to get to when fully unzipped, somewhat annoying. And then in addition to this mesh zippered compartment are four elastic loops, which also function as pen, stylus holders, or 
cord managers, which is found pretty nice. I do like the orientation of this pocket just because when you have the backpack on, it's very easy to sling it over your shoulder and still get in. And then finally is a key clip right here with a standard carabiner. It's not got a whole lot of length to it, but it's nice that it'll keep your keys kind of organized and at the top instead of falling and getting lost in the rest of the pocket. The backpack does feature two water bottle holders as well. They are gusseted and they don't necessarily stick to the bag, unfortunately, but they do a decent job. They can fit up to a 32 ounce and the inner material is like a nice water coated fabric as well. So it's ideal for like sweaty water bottles. Something to keep in mind though is because they don't necessarily like attach very well, for, for smaller water bottles, they might have a tendency to kind of slip out when not standing all the way up. Then one thing else I wanted to point out is here, the main compartment zipper extends all the way down in here, just about like right here. So if you keep, if you like to keep your zippers like on one side, that might be kind of annoying because it's not exactly convenient to get to. And then especially if you have a water bottle in one of the pockets, that'll make it even more difficult. On the back is their dedicated laptop compartment. And the zippers extend just about right here. And inside I have my 16 inch MacBook Pro. As you can see, it is a very snug fit. And the material isn't the softest, I would say, but I don't think that there's been any issues with like scratching or scuffs or anything like that. And this laptop compartment is lifted as well. Um, extends to like right about here. So just be careful when setting this down. It is protected, but it won't protect from like severe drops or anything like that. So moving on to the main compartment, it opens with two dual z standard zippers, which are made from nice quality ykk and they have like a very smooth tread to them one thing i did like about this bag is how the frame sheet on the back keeps its form and stays fairly solid and rigid but the material bends so that it gives you an easier way to access the back since the zippers don't come all the way down inside i just have a tech pouch jacket and a pair of headphones and then on the inside, they provide a good amount of additional organization. Here on the front is a mesh zipper pocket, which I just have standard hard drive, hair tie. This mesh is somewhat rigid. It's not very stretchy at all, but it's nice to be able to see like what's inside. On the back is a tablet sleeve, which, which can fit a 10 or 13 inch device and it's secured with a buckle, which is also nice. And then in front of that is a slip sleeve, which you can store documents, magazines, stuff like that. And then on the sides are two more internal water bottle pockets made out of similar mesh material like this. They're not very stretchy, but they do offer like a good amount of give they're on both sides here and then aside from that it's basically just a nice open cavern so you can see i like that they give you the extra addition of like organizational components on the sides or you can just kind of use it as a standard cabin and throw like your tech pouch packing cubes all that kind of stuff inside so it really gives you the option to use it as you like this is also compatible with some of Dispatch's other um, add-ons. They have a bunch of accessories like camera inserts, utility straps, accessories, cards, all sorts of stuff like that that you can add. But one of the things that I really liked about this backpack is that you don't need that in order to get by. It's like they're nice to have, but you certainly don't need them. So there you have it, the Dispatch Day Pack. Thanks for keeping it here at Pack Hacker, your guide to smarter travel. We'll see you in the next video.